Calculating limit, limits using limit laws, part three. So here I've written out a few problems. These two plus these two. Uh, let's let's jump right on them. So here we got uh, the limit of x to the fourth power plus x minus three as x approaches two. So for this problem, we're going to apply the limit individually to these. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to say the limit of x to the fourth power as x approaches 2 plus the limit of x as x approaches 2 minus, and I'm just going to say negative 3, because when you apply a limit to a constant, it's just the same constant. So here we go. So here we're going to take out, we're going to continue on this part, and we're going to take that 4 out. So we're going to say the limit of x to the, the well, the limit of, the limit of x, uh, as x approaches 2, and then we're going to take out that 4. Well, actually, that should be raised to the 4th part. Here we go. Plus, here we have the limit as x approaches 2, so then I'm just going to plug in the 2 here. Minus 3. And this, you plug in the 2 there, then you're going to get 2 to the 4th power. So 2 to the 4th power is 16. So you're going to get 16 plus 2 minus 3, which is going to be equal to 15. And that's your answer for that one. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, here's two. So we're going to take the limit of this. So uh, we're going to apply the limit to uh, all the variables. So we're going to say the limit, and I'm going to take out the three. So I'm, I'm applying the limit to this part right here. So the three times the limit of x cubed as x approaches three. Now we're also going to take out this cubed. So, well, we'll do that in a bit. Plus three over the limit of x as x approaches 3 and we're going to square that actually might as well do this now saves me some writing so we'll do that and you're going to do 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 3 so then we're just going to plug in the variable or not the variable, but the number. So here we're going to have 3 times 3 cubed plus 3 all over 3 squared plus 2 times 3. So this is going to be equal to, so 3 times, or 3 to the third power is 27 times 3 is 81. So this is going to be 81 plus 3 over 9 plus 6. So that's going to be equal to 84 over 15. That's the answer to that one. So let's continue on to number 3. So here we have the limit of the square root of 65 plus x cubed as x approaches negative 4. So we're going to apply this to, to the interior uh, parts right here. But again, we're going to leave the 65 alone and only apply it to the x cubed. So it's going to be 65 plus the limit as x approaches negative 4 of x cubed. And this is all going to be to the 1 half power, which is the same thing as the square root. So now we're just going to apply this. We're going to do this as well because we're going to apply that cube to the actual limit. So we're going to, well, so we're going to apply this cube just to what's in here. So this is going to be equal to 65 plus negative 4 cubed, all square rooted. So 4 cubed, that's going to be uh, 64. So we're going to have 65 minus 64. Because a cube, when, you, when you're doing the, a cube of a negative, you just get a negative. And that's to one half, so this is going to be one square rooted, which is just equal to one. So the answer to this one is one. <clears throat> now let's go on to this one right here. So we're going to take the limit of the square root of four or, or x to the fourth power minus x to the x cubed minus four. So again, we're going to apply this to each one. So we're going to get the limit. 
of x to the fourth power as x approaches 2 from the left minus the limit of uh, x cubed as x approaches 2 from the left minus 4. Oh, geez, I need more space. Well, and that's going to be to the 1 half power. So now I'm going to move this over a little bit. Actually, let me just, I'm going to copy it. Make sure we have enough space. Okay, well, let's keep on working on it. So now we're going to plug in this value. And well, first we're going to separate it. So we're going to, we're going to raise it to the fourth power after we get that value. So it's actually going to be the limit of x as x approaches 2 from the left to the fourth minus the limit of x as x approaches 2 from the left cubed minus 4 and this is all going to be square rooted at the end so now, now that we have this now we're going to get 2 the fourth power minus 2 cubed minus 4 all square rooted so now we're going to get uh, 2 to the 4th power is 16. Uh, 2 cubed is equal to negative 8. Or it's, 2 cubed is 8, and that's a negative, so it's going to stay that. And we're going to put the negative 4 here. All square rooted. So this is going to be 4. The square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And that's how you do that. So, sorry for going a little quick. I just didn't want to go over my time, so... I uh, hope these videos made sense, and uh, good luck in your classes.